Hi, my name is Dr. Joseph Demers of Backman Technologies. Uh, I'm going to be producing a series of videos uh, where we have this project to attach a terahertz spectrometer and white cell, shown here, to a DJI S1000 uh, drone. Uh, the goal will be to fly the spectrometer and sample uh, the environment uh, in areas that might be a little bit more difficult to reach. Now, if you saw our original video, Terahertz Takes Flight, you might be wondering, what's the point of repeating the same experiment? Uh, point is, it's not the same experiment. In the previous work, what we did is we flew uh, one of our PB7200 spectrometers, and we had a 12 centimeter path length between the heads underneath the spectrometer. They were just attached to the bottom of the spectrometer. And what that means is that we didn't have very much path length and there was no vacuum. This originally started as a National Science Foundation project. The National Science Foundation funded the building, the design and the build of the new electronics um, such that uh, it can now be controlled. The whole instrument can be controlled by this Raspberry Pi. It's also lighter and smaller. It also, uh, they also gave us the funding to design and develop this lightweight avionics white cell. And if you don't know what a white cell is, you can look it up online. But fundamentally, it's a multi-pass cell. So even though it's, you know, 350 millimeters by, I don't know, 150 millimeters, uh, it's got a path length for the radiation to pass through that's four meters to five meters long, depending on how the mirrors internally are set up. The white cell also allows us to pull a vacuum on the sample, and this gets rid of pressure broadening, and it makes the spectral features uh, more prominent and easier to discern from one another. The DJI S1000 can lift five and a half kilograms, and part of that mass is also the battery, uh, which is no lightweight by itself. Um, so the whole spectrometer was designed to have as low a mass as possible. This instrument, without the circuit board, but the white cell itself, with all of its features, weighs in at two and a half kilograms. So that's a good start. Anyway, as you can tell, this frame is designed to attach here. We're still waiting on some parts so that we can attach the landing gear, very important. And then, over the next series of videos that we produce, I will show you how we wire up the uh, entire spectrometer to operate off the same battery as the DJI S1000, as well as how the vacuum pump and solenoids also operate off the battery. In the end, the plan is for everything to be controlled right here. Uh, so you'll be able to take a sample by clicking this button, start a scan by clicking this button, and then hopefully fly and safely land the whole thing using this controller. Now, uh, my skills do not extend to flying very, very large drones, so I will probably be hiring somebody to do that uh, when it finally comes time, and hopefully uh, we'll be able to take off, record a sample, and then land uh, without crashing.